guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just doing a really chill little, it's not really a tutorial because I didn't have a look planned. I just kind of had a play with makeup and I ended up with this look, which is very beautiful and very glamorous, uh, a little bit kind of sultry and sexy in the eyes, which I thought was kind of fun. Um, it was, yeah, basically just a play with makeup. I went through my makeup drawer and I tried to pull out products that I either haven't shown on my channel before or are old favorites that perhaps haven't had some love for a while, like I've given them a bit of time out to try other things. I needed to film this look today because I've got to film a few other videos that are more just talky ones and I always find it really wasteful to do a makeup look for my talking videos if I haven't filmed it because so many of you always ask like, do you have a tutorial for the look you're wearing? So, so if you do end up enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a like for me because it does let me know that you enjoy this kind of content and subscribe if you are new i'd love to have you around here i do make at least three videos a week and so i'd love to see you here and without further ado let's get into the get ready with me slash tutorial so i'm just going to pop in with a bit of my Too faced hangover primer this is nothing new but i know that this works really beautifully under the foundation that i want to use today and that product is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Makeup in the shade 1N0 Porcelain. This is a water-based foundation, so I actually like to apply this with my fingers or a kabuki brush. I'm going to use my brush today just because it's less messy for filming. And I just did a review on this a few days ago, so if you're interested in seeing that, I'll pop it up in a card. And I'll also have it in the description as well. So I won't rave on too much about this product in this video because I do give very, very detailed thoughts in my review video. So pop over there if you're curious about this one. And I'm just using the EXO Beauty Round Top Face Brush. Then I'm going to go in with a concealer that I've never used on my channel, I don't think. I talked about this in my concealer collection video. It's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW15. It can at times be a little bit deep for me. Um, not too bad, but it's just very much a skin color. Um, so I like to go in with a little bit of this, but also another concealer to kind of brighten it a little bit so I just pump a little bit out it also pumps out a lot of product so on top of that I'm gonna layer a bit of the Kylie concealer in the shade pearl which is just a bit brighter and it'll just help to lighten it a little bit just going to spread it out with the brush and then I'm just gonna use my beauty blender to blend that in If you've been on my channel for a while, you would have seen this appear before, but it has been a while since I've used it in a look, so I'm just using it on the very center of my face just to tone down some of that dewiness because I still want it to look like skin, but not look super shiny. And then to contour, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Stick Foundation in the shade Contour. Which is just a really nice kind of ashy color and because I haven't actually powdered this part I can go in with a cream product. I'm just gonna use my foundation brush to blend that out so that creates a really really soft kind of contour to the skin it looks really pretty. For bronzer I've pulled out my elf mineral pearls these are in the shade natural so these are like bronzing pearls they're not really marketed as a bronzer as such but on my very fair skin they definitely come off as quite bronzy I'm going to use my big giant furless cosmetics powder brush and just sort of swirl my brush in there it's a bit of an awkwardly large brush for these but I do like it for applying the product and I'm just going to do a large sweep of those across my cheeks and up around my forehead and this gives an incredibly subtle, soft, bronzed look. So if you have very, very, very fair skin, this is such a lovely bronzer because it just is quite hard to go overboard with it. I think it's because you've got a mixture of bronzing pearls, but also some like light white sort of glowy pearls and some goldy sort of pearls in there. For blush, I pulled out my little Chi Chi Viva La Diva palette. This is in the shade Corals. So this is the one that has the NARS Orgasm Dupe in the middle, which I found. Um, and Chi Chi is a, an Australian brand. But today I think I'm going to go in with this colour here on the end, which is like a light 
sort of peachy or kind of apricot color is the best way to describe it. This is actually a really good dupe for Benefit Coralista. So you're getting a couple of high-end dupes in this palette, which is great. I'm just using my Surat Beauty Blush Brush and I'm going to just buff this into the cheeks. So it'd be particularly nice if you have a warm undertone. I do have a neutral cool undertone, so um, peachy apricot colors. Sometimes I have to be a wee bit careful with them, but this one is light enough that it does just kind of blend beautifully into my skin. Yeah, that looks nice. Then for highlighter, this is not a new product to me, but it's one that I haven't used on my channel in a while, so I thought I deserved to feature it again. It's my favorite highlighter, my MAC Double Gleam highlighter. This is the perfect definition of a sort of glossy, wet look highlighter. It looks like it could potentially be way too gold in the pan, but it has very little back pigment to it. Therefore, it comes across as just the most gorgeous, wet sheen on the skin. And you don't end up with that like dark stripe or anything. It's honestly stunning. And if it wasn't for the lady at MAC, like convincing me to put it on my skin in store, I never would have discovered this. Look at that. My skin looks like glass. I love when I haven't used a product for a long time because I've been trying to wear, I've been trying to wear through some of my other highlighters because there was a time last year, late last year, where I just only ever reached for this highlighter and I was like, I've got to give my other products some love. But I love doing that where you'd like take a break from it and then you come back to it and you're like, <laughs> I love it so much. It's just so pretty. For brows, I've pulled out a couple of my e.l.f. products. I have the Brow Kit in Ash, which I used to use on my channel heaps way back in the day. I recently repurchased this one and at the same time I grabbed this um, little e.l.f. lock-on liner and brow cream. This is in the shade light brown because they didn't have ash in that particular formula. But what I like to do is go in, this is the Benefit eyebrow brush, go in first with the Brow Kit in Ash on the inner sort of part of the eye. And a really good trick to getting it soft in the inner corner is to apply the product, like when you dip the product in, start filling in the sort of center part. And then as you get closer to the front, don't re-dip the product and just use what's left on the brush. That'll just help to keep it looking really soft. Then I'm swapping over to the Lock It Cream liner thing in the light brown which is really quite like moussey. It reminds me a lot of the texture of the Anastasia Dip Brow pomade. This is in the shade light brown, so you can see it's a little bit darker. I like using this to define the outer part of my brow. Then I think it's been quite a while since I've used my Benefit Gimme Brow, so this is in shade one. I'm trying to use these up because I don't think I'll repurchase them. I love my Essence ones better. But um, the color of number one is really nice. It's like a really soft blonde sort of shade. So I do love the color of this, but yeah, the actual formula, I think I like the Essence one better and it's so, so much cheaper. <gasps> awesome. So then we're moving on to eyes and I'm going to go in with the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base, the Pro Prime, um, because this is in my project pan and do I ever use it? No, I am terrible at remembering to use eye primer. I just don't really need it to be honest. So this isn't something I would repurchase simply because I basically never ever need or use eye primer. Even though this is a very good eye primer, it seems to work well. I'm just gonna go over top with a little bit of setting powder as well to lock that in place. So for eyeshadows today, I thought it would be fun to pull out the Shanixo, the Remix palette, because I haven't actually used this properly in a video yet. And I thought, I was feeling quite inspired by these very sort of autumnal colors, considering it is now autumn here in Australia. Yay! I'm so excited for the fact that it's autumn. So I'm definitely going to do a kind of warm, smoky burgundy eye or something today. I'm just going to go in first with this nude matte shade, Clarity, just on a big fluffy brush. This one is by Hakuhodo. Let's just start building up a crease. So I start with the lighter shade and use this like literally all over the eye up to the brow bone. Then I'm gonna go in with the other side. This is Bestie, which is a sort of, it looks like a sort of terracotta -y pink color. I'm gonna use this as kind of like a transition. Just a really nice soft wash of that first. I'm going with color today, guys, color. Don't think I'm game enough to use this 
fluoro pink here yet, but we will get there. I'm just going to wet my flat shader brush. This is EXO Beauty flat shader. And I'm gonna go back in the other side and go to this color Glow Baby. And I'm gonna pack that all over the lid. The shade does have a bit of fallout, but if you just sort of pack it on with the wet brush, it does minimize the amount that falls onto your face. I use this Mecca Cosmetica fan brush. I think it's meant to be for highlighter, but I like it for sweeping away my fallout. <laughs> it's so gentle, it won't rub it into your foundation. I'm going to go in with Stalker, which is this middle color here, this sort of beautiful cranberry color, and my Hourglass Number no. 4 brush, which is a very small sort of defining brush. And just going to start to build up the intensity through that crease. Then I'm going with that same brush in the color Vampette, which is the vampy cranberry color. I'm going to take this color Silhouette, which is a dark kind of ch charcoal color, just a small flat shade brush. This one is by Eco Tools, a smudge brush. And I'm going to start to pack this on the outer portion of the eye. I'm just kind of blending all those shades together. You know what, this reminds me of like cherry cola. <laughs> then I'm going to continue that charcoal color on a smudge brush underneath the eye a little bit. I'm going to add a bit of liner to my waterline. I'm using the color Mute from Zoeva, which is dark grey. I bet Tammy is loving this look today. <laughs> I'm just going to add a little bit of that bestie color we used right at the beginning with another fluffy brush. This is the Blend brush by Eco Tools. I'm just going to use this kind of as like a transition color on the lower lash line. I should have actually done this first, but that's all right. That just softens it a little bit, warms it up a little bit under there, makes it look a little bit less sort of striking, I guess. I don't know, just warms it, looks really pretty. I'm going to use a little bit of this color, Holy Grail, which is like the highlight, the shimmery highlight shade, and just place this sort of on that inner tear duct. Just to brighten that a little bit more and just like a tiny bit under my brow bone. Then I'm just going to grab my black Zoeva liner and just do my normal routine on my upper lash line where I just rub a little bit of that into the outer third and smudge it with a pencil brush. I'm going to add some mascara. I'm just going to use the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara which I haven't used in a while. Okay, I changed up my earrings because I felt like this turned into much more of an evening-y look, which I'll put on some chandelier evening earrings. I'm not going to bother with falsies. I think my eyes are dramatic enough and it will cover up a lot of the shadow, so I'm just not going to bother. Um, but I am going to go in with a lip colour. I'm using a lip gloss. This is a new one that I picked up the other day from Mecca because I swatched it in store and I was like, it just brought me back to the 2000s because it's a very, very sheer, glittery, lip gloss. This is the Lipstick Queen brand and this is in the shade Time Warp. Um, so I'm just going to pop this straight on. Not going to worry about a like, lip liner or anything. Such a nice dramatic look. This is definitely something I would wear out with like just a little black dress or something. To make this even more dramatic you could even pair it with a burgundy lip but I definitely play on the more subtle side of dramatic so this is what I am happy with and feel comfortable in. So I hope you enjoyed this little get ready with me kind of sort of half tutorial thing. It was just sort of a play with makeup and I wanted to just showcase a few products that I don't often showcase on my channel or things that I really love and I haven't used for a long time that I wanted to bring back and show you. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found this look inspirational. If you did enjoy it, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me. And until next time, I hope you have a good few days and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.